what is up? Here in a game between um, Hawk Less and Karmasov. Karmasov is uh, like top 10 right now, as you see by this uh, little icon down here. And Hawk Less is also quite good. I have, I've been beaten by him. Um, and he does play t uh, Stitched, which is really cool. Stitched are one of those uh, four themes you get from the Maljaran Frontier. And uh, you don't see him too often. Now, in general, Kanan... Uh, stitched. Uh, what are the other ones? Um, Leos and there's one more. Portens. Yeah, th those four. They're not played super much. They um, they're kind of hard to get to. You know, they're hard to play. Um, it's a, yeah, it's a, it's a, they're hard themes. Now, I think the best of the themes are probably either stitched or um, or Kanan. Um. But yeah, in general, Kanan you don't see very often. I, I tried playing them for a bit. I played like three games, and they were a lot of fun. Um, they have a lot of spells that go with the the faction or the theme, which really is fun. Because I, I like being in theme, right? I like having the um, the immersion in the game, right? Just imagine you're, you see a giant, you know, skeletal boar slash, you know, uh, not a boar, what's it? A, um, what's it called? Bull, bull coming at you, and that's just freaky as heck, right? And then imagine you have a giant jellyfish just looking at you with those weird eyes. Anyway, so I like saying in, in character, sort of say when I play these games, and they have a lot of cool spells to use in in the uh, theme, right? And that's that's a lot of fun. That's why I really like the theme. Um, definitely, and probably it was my favorite uh, expansion, the Muldaren one or the uh, Titans one were my two favorites, I think. Anyway, so he's playing against Karmasov. And it looks like he's playing a psychic. Um, psychic. I don't know. I think it could be psychic. All these champions do have either psychic attack. Um, it is a full faction FS. He has amplify psychic out. Let's see, how much does he have amped right now? Uh, okay, that's, yeah, it's Firk Mask, so it's 20% gain already. Um, a very strong thing to amp now. Oh, <laughs> Yeah, of of the um, yeah, the, the, this mirror skin does have mirrored. So even if it's amped damage, it's still only dealt three damage. Also, the hunter mage actually kind of wrecked him because that's a wizard right there. So is this? Wow! Oh my god! Holy fuck! This thing. He he has hunter mage. So he has four defense plus mirrored right now and deflect. This guy is gonna fuck on all these champs right here right now, or shit on them, not fuck on them. Um. Now, what we do have to watch out for, what um, Hawkus has to watch out for, is a teleport. If he can teleport over here next turn, let's see, does he have the AP? Four, four, six. Yeah, he definitely has the AP, so he's going to have to deploy up here this turn, um, or else the top font will be forfeit. Um, he also can, so Hawkus can also um, make this stitched into a black guard. One of the better stitched um, that you can reconstruct. And this is such a cool cool thing to have. These champions are generally a bit overpriced for what they bring. But once they die, they, they leave the stitched remains. And those stitched remains, they just you can make them into another champion. And it's not even the summons, right? You don't this here, let's see if he uses it. So you can see this is just uh, you know the stitch remains. If he uses the reconstruct, it becomes a actual champion, which is really awesome because that means you can uh, there, see. So Exactly, see? So the, the relic is a summon, but that champion becomes an actual champion, which means it can um, capture fonts, which is really, really cool. Also, it cannot be affected by anything with, like, Shatter Summon. So that's why, you know, he just made a 65 Nora champion, and this guy is dope. He has multi-attack, two defense, 45 health, chilled rank two for 65, I mean, zero Nora, really. Anyway, so really cool theme. I really like them. I wish there was somebody who really mained them. Now, Hawkless has been playing them for a bit. But I don't think he mains uh, Stitch. But I think something like um, Mogabate plays or played um, Minotaurs to you know to the ends of the earth. He played it so much that he really just became king of Minotaurs, and he was so good at it, it was insane. He could basically be anybody with Minotaurs. Like he could play against any meta deck with his Minotaurs, and he would beat you. And that's what I one of the coolest things to see in this game is somebody get really good with one theme, right? And there's there's a few people like that. Um, uh, you know, Mogbe is probably my best example, but there there are many others. And if somebody got really good with Stitch, that'd be really fun to see. Um, definitely, I think there's a lot of potential to play around in this theme. I'm gonna turn the grid off again so it doesn't look too ugly. 
Um, anyway, but Psychic Amp, um, I kind of would like to see a game with Psychic Amp versus Frost Amp. That would be kind of interesting, just because of the strongest Amp types, these are the two. Um, other Amp types that might be strong are Magic and Fire. There's nothing else, really, for Amp types. Uh, yeah, here's the Teleport coming. This is what I, I saw coming, yeah. Here's the Teleport, but this, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, yeah. So the um, Blackguard can move in there, so it's, it's not too dangerous, the... The um, font will be contested, um, but the Blackguard actually has an okay time, in all honesty, against this, just because, yeah, Teleport is bad for him. Oh, Slam, okay. That eh, might be a bit harder then. But Vulnerable plus Slam, yeah, we'll see. Here's the uh, Mance Inspire, just in case one of these champions dies, the uh, Relic, the uh, Stitch Remains, isn't too easy to kill. I like the Suppressor as well. Um, I play one of them in my Stitch deck just because he's really cheap, 54 Nora. And uh, definitely has some potential for, like, uh, you know, just general. I play not with Distracting Blows, though. I play with. Maybe I do. I don't remember what I play with. Never mind. It's been too long. But yeah, cool champion, though. 54 Nora is pretty cheap. Um, Skeletal Form, very strong. With that. Berserker 3 gets 2 def or two speed sorry, and 4 de damage, so he's at 8 speed right now, 15 damage. Now, it does mean he does have a Careless, but because of Unleash, he often can get double taps, even if he's not, you know, within one range. So if he's, like, over here and he gets Unleashed, like, you know, another 7 times, then he'll take that back, so. Alright, so he's in the font with the Blackguard, but he has to watch out for the Pounce, right? So that's what he has to watch out for. Uh, there's no pos- I mean, uh, Forsaken Ways does have Possession. Forsaken Waste has the spell Domination, right? And that's a spell that um, Hawkless could be running, but that's pretty rare. Because, like I said, um, the theme Stitch have so many spells that are good in the theme, I, I don't think you have room. In the 30 cards, I don't think you have room for a uh, Domination. And it's such a, such a tech card, really, because it would only really work well in you know, places with chasms. I don't know if you would really play that. That'd be pretty rare if you like. Um, you might play Doom. Doom is kind of a bit more uh, versatile because you can still use it on maps without chasms and have it be like a good removal. So you might play a Doom, but I I think he, I don't think he plays a a, a domination. All right, but it's his turn. Um, I'm not exact. Ah, he does have heal out, doesn't he? Yeah, so he has transfer life. So he's gonna heal up this <laughs> mirror skin, and this mirror skin has been so tanky. Ooh, he's going in on the Nexus. This is a bit scary. Does he have a... Um, there it goes. There's the mobilization I was thinking about. I was wondering if he had this now. Uh, one with Nora means, yeah, immune to physical now. That's weird. He's now going to be immune to magical as well. Is this magical attack? Oh, no, it's psychic. Okay, so wow, a lot of attack types here. Very good. But that's still not enough. Oh. What? Never mind, it is. How did it just do four damage? What was that four damage from? Nature. I... Oh, he used the eradicate. And he got the deconstruct. Holy cow, that was sick! Dude, I love this theme. It's so cool. And he gets the slow off. Oh, that's so trashy. Oh, that was a bad, bad though. He, he moved out of range with the Mance Spire on the uh, relic. That was a bad play. He should have stayed that way one. That's fine, though. He uh, gets the kill with the Moby. I totally forgot about the Eradicate. I was wondering, like, wait, how did he lose four damage? Yeah, or do deal four damage? And look at this. One of the best... Cha I mean, he is playing a deck he doesn't play too often, but still. Oh, yeah, Physic. Yeah, he still takes minus two because of the Hunter. Or minus four, actually. Um, but he does have the physical attack type, so it does go through the Mirrored. But all these other champs won't go through the Mirrored. That's one of the weaknesses of amps, right? Amp, things that have amplification often do... Eh, so things with amplification often do not have uh, different attack types. So if you have mirrored or a resistance to that attack type, you, they can have a very hard time, right? Now, can he kill his relic, though? That is a good question. So we definitely will see... Oh, okay, that's a... Uh, Crystallize. We're definitely going to see this one, unless there's a spell played, an AoE played here. Uh, this one will become a, I don't know, either one of these. Maybe a Dream Eater. I like the Dream Eater. I think Dream Eater is the strongest of the summons that there is. Magician is not bad, but does he need more range? I guess he could use some. Even though he has, yeah, these are a range. He doesn't need it. Or a Blackguard again. Yeah, another Blackguard is not bad either. 
So I would say either Dream Eater or, or the Black Guard are the best uh, choices for him um, to uh, reconstruct. But yeah, it's so cool how he, he killed a champion, and one of yeah one of his champions died. So the Mirror Skin died, but he's still five champions, right? He didn't lose anything. Here we're four. Just look at this. Yeah, okay, these are damaged, but once they die, if they just become uh, reconstructed again. So he's just going to, you know, you kill something, but they're still alive. They're still here, nigga. Anyway, we're gonna have to see a deploy by um, Hawkless though, because that top font is gonna be annoying to, um, you know, get back, unless he plays a spell to deal with it. He has a recontract. Does decide for the Black Guard. Not a horrible choice. Hinder movement, pretty good. Hinder movement, uh, nice. Did he not use that on the mirror skin? That's weird. I thought he used that on the mirror skin. Um. All right, so there's the uh, the unleash. That's one of the cool things. So a champion with Berserker usually is pretty bad by itself, but with uh, unleash, you can definitely uh, get some plays running. Now, what's he gonna go for? Nine. He would need two more. I, he doesn't have nine. Tell him. Yeah, he needs one more now. He doesn't have the AP. Oh, unless he does that, that works. So he's going for the font. That's not bad. Goes for the font. Now it's. Um, so Fawn Contested versus, you know, Fawn Contested, which is pretty nice. But he might have wanted to go down here, just so then he has the 8-speed next turn to move this way. But I guess you'll see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. All right. With a Relic, he can contest this bottom Fawn next turn. And this is where, yeah, he, he is slow. The Void Mage is slow, but he can still... No, he cannot double tap next turn. Now, will Hawkless be able to deploy? I feel like he has the Nora. I mean... Stitch in general are not too expensive. They're like they're okay. They're like sad. for for their worth, they're not, they're a bit expensive. But in general, by themselves, they're not. Like right here, you have sixty five Nora, right? Fifty four, fifty two, seventy seven. Seventy seven is even fine by itself. I play the War Banner. Interesting. So let's watch out for knockback damage here. Reconstitute, uh, meaning he uh, does want to make sure. Oh, he does have a double tap. Yeah, so he has a. He's gonna hit once anyway, though. So crystallize is gone. The uh, perform can't attack anything. Does have to watch out though. The Serena doesn't die. Is already at three charges because of the uh, vo vo violence charge. So it can eradicate for six next turn. Let's see. So and if he attacks a few times. Oh wait, he does give distract right. So he can't, oh wait, is he a hero? He is. All right, so the, all right, this is kind of, um, uh, you know, kind of the, the downfall of Pox Nora. There's a few too, too many things to, to see coming sometimes. Anyway, so you'd think, oh wait, I can use Eradicate next turn. Then you click over here and you're like, wait, this says distract, I'll be distracted. So I won't be able to use Eradicate. And then you're like, wait, it's a hero. So I have Iron Will, which means that I cannot become distracted. And then you're like, okay, so I can use it next turn. It's like, wow, how many things do I have to know to actually get something like thought through? It's like, it's too stupid. All right, let's see how much. Is that 40%? Ooh, it's gonna kill, it, isn't it? Yeah, 29 damage. Look at that amp damage. Oh damn, 29 damage. Pretty goddamn good. No, I can't kill a relic though. Yeah, that's a lot of damage. But there's only two of those spells, which is good for him, I guess. Yeah, he did uh, give that up now. I wonder why he didn't deploy. He, he played the uh, Vex, but I would have really thought he had the Nora for deploy. Huh. Anyway, so this uh, this one is contested now. This one is taken by uh, Karmasov. Really good for him. Uh, now, in all likelihood, we're going to have to see a kill come out this coming turn by Hawkless, or else this top font, you know, it being... Uh, Karma so he'll just start, you know, taking the advantage out, right? Because now it's going to be a fight for this font the whole time. Next turn, Karma Sob will deploy something tanky. He'll deploy something down here, and then they have to kind of fight over this l l very thin precipice or, you know, uh, walkway, this, this bottleneck type thing. So we're going to have to see a kill here so that uh, he can, um, you know, keep this font or like at least contest this font, make sure that one of these range champions have to go in here. Ideally, a kill on this guy, the mine caller, who has the equipment. Um, that would probably be the best for him. Ooh, that gives immunity, does it? It does get immunity. That's kind of cool. That means he can't attack. Ooh. Yeah, the immunity here from the mine caller means that the uh, Syrinda can actually not attack him and or it just can't deal damage with the equipment on him. 
We do have a double tap on the mutant though with the uh, 70 damage Skeleform. Wow, 70 damage. Yeah, there you go. He's enraged. Yeah, yeah no. Uh, I was about to say that too. I was, hey, wait, 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 wait. Don't do it yet because of the, um, where is it? Because of the, it's gone now. Well, when it gets, uh, there you go. F Psychic a Agony, the first time this champion falls below 50% health. Enemy champions take five psychic damage. If the champion is soul tapped, it becomes ensnared. And they all become ensnared and confused. The reason being, they all become soul tapped because of psychic anguish, right? Now, what also this means, look, all these champions are, are soul tapped, right? Look how much AP that is. Soul tapped. Two life loss and that AP gain. So one, two, three, four, five. So one, two, three, four times two is eight. So he gains eight extra Nora turn. Karmasov gets eight extra Nora plus a font bonus up. And he, wait, what did you deploy? Dream Eater, okay. So yeah, so much extra Nora gained for Karmasov. He's just gaining uh, eight Nora turn more plus the six from the FS bonus. So insane amount of Nora being gained here by him. And anyway, yeah, so Psychic Amp is totally fun, actually. Um, I really want to, so I don't know if it really can. Okay, so it's like this. Psychic Amp by itself. Ooh, we have to choose one now. I think it's this way, though. You go down this way. Yeah, definitely. Don't I bet the uh, the Dream Eater is right here. Anyway, and now Karmasov will deploy up here. Mm. There you go. Something pretty tanky, just like I said. Elusive Leap, very cheap. Good stats. Yeah, and this is game. And detection, which is really nice for the Dream Eater. Anyway, so Psychic versus uh, Frost. In general, I think they have the same amount of like damage potential, right? Because they both have pretty nice boosts. Look at this. We're already at 20% boost, I believe. Or 40%? We're at 40% right now. Yeah, 40% boost at the moment. Um, which is about like Frost. Now, the spells... We saw, you know, the, the one-hit spell, the um, single-target spell, are pretty insane by Psychic. But, like, Frigid Barrier and Swap, those kind of things kind of are, like, the counteract Psychic spells. And if the ST bonus wasn't so strong, if it didn't give the... Uh, are they ensnared this coming turn as well? Soul tap. No, not this coming turn. If the um, ST bonus wasn't so strong giving the 10 health i would say that they're even because the the 10 extra health is so strong everything's been nerfed in health the last few like expansions every like boost has been removed from a lot of people and a lot of in general hp gain has been removed from the game and because of that and because the st bonus has stayed the same it really skews it a bit somehow it kind of it, back in the day the more hp there are on champions the less the st bonus matters because it's just kind of like it's a ratio right but with the uh, other removal of of health, uh, makes the SD bonus quite strong nowadays. Um, that's why you see a lot of it running around. You see Beast running around. You see uh, Frost running around. Whoa. Okay. So that's uh, Soul Reeve, I believe. Yeah, Soul Reeve going to actually kill this Skeleform now. That's what I was hoping for. That means that um, Nakondo will not... Oh, he's going for the Void Mage. Oh, and he has the Psychic Attack. Or now it's not Psychic Attack, right? This is kind of silly, though. I don't think he has a kill here, does he? Oh, 100 movement. Oh, and the... the um, yeah, okay, he might have killed him. Yeah, yeah, exactly. There's the Dream Eater. And he has the Deconstruct, right? The Deconstruct from the uh, Serenda. Good play. He, he, uh, the... Um, what am I looking for the word? The ordering was good, yeah. So he made sure to get the last hit with the Serenda, so he gets the uh, remains, which is really, really well done. And you can maybe possibly uh, relocate that and then reconstruct that next turn, right? Man, this guy's been doing so much though. That is also that also means that the um, the relic is removed. I mean, not the relic. I'm saying the equipment is removed, right? Really nice. Yeah, we're gonna probably see a, a relocate here. But look at this. This was a yeah. This is a summon. Yeah, here's a relocate. He's gonna make that into a uh, something next turn. Into something else. So, look at this. We still have one, two, three, four, five champions versus one, two, three, four, five. So, it's even in champions, but in general, these champions are a bit stronger. Um, I don't know. I keep getting confused. I keep talking about too many things at once. 
Let's see how many fonts. We have three fonts to one at the moment. I'm not going to do the font though, right? No. Elus you kind of elusive leave drawn because now you can't get into the font. You could have leapt over the dream meter. One, two. Oh, no, you couldn't have. Never mind. Wouldn't have had the AP anyway. Yeah, see, look at this. Now he's just going to keep deploying. He also has mind meld. This champion has plus one damage for each friendly real champion with attack psychic or that shares a race with this one. Those champions gain 25% of the damage bonus if they do not have mind meld. This effect is rounded down. Holy cow. So he gets plus eight at the moment. Wait, does that make sense? All right, so one, two, three, four, five. So he gets plus five, and they get 25%, so they get plus one then? Is that how it works? They have plus two right now. Yeah, wow, that's kind of cool. So all the champions have plus one because of this mind meld. It's kind of dope. That's a cool ability. I haven't seen that in a while. Dude, Cthulhu, man. Fucking Cthulhu. He's bouncing on your shit. Look at him. He's like, I'm Cthulhu. Dude. In what other game other than Pox Nora can you play as fucking Cthulhu? Like, little Cthulhus, though. Like, boss Cthulhus, you know what I'm saying? Pretty damn cool. 15 damage right now on this Paraform. Wow. War Banner plus that Psychic Amp. And 13 base damage. Pretty sick. Very tanky champion with the uh, No Kondo. Wow, this is a cool theme. You don't see this very often. You don't see Psychic as much nowadays. You saw him for a while. But like FS has in general been kind of on the downfall. You haven't seen too much FS lately. Um, now we do have a nine damage erratic or nine uh, stack eradicate coming out. That would be eighteen damage. So you could get a kill on this paraform, definitely. Yeah, definitely. We have two. We have a double tap with his black. Oh, why is he not eradicating? Double tap. Yeah, this paraform is dead. That's for sure. There could have been a poison trap there, so that was a bit dangerous. All right. Nine. So he has to. I'm guessing he's gonna uh, thingy this. All right. Or you can just. No. Yeah. You have to eradicate. He's not in range. Just eradicate. It's off cooldown. That's for sure. You want? Oh wait. Does this count? Is it only a basic attack? No. When he destroys a champion, so eradicate will still work. It should work. It will make a uh, a relic. So to say. Then, if he does kill this um, with the Eradicate, he should definitely construct that one, right? Because that one's closer. Maybe. Wait, why is he not Eradicating? I'm confused. Or maybe he doesn't want to use it. Ah, that's a perfect kill. Might as well. But now he doesn't get the um, the Reconstruct. Unless it was on cooldown anyway. I'm not sure. I wasn't counting the cooldown. I don't think it was, though. So he decides instead of eradicating or instead of using eradicate, he wanted the, uh, I don't know, to like move the surrender back, I guess. I don't know why did, why he didn't eradicate and then just put make the remains into something. I think that would have been better. Because you want the uh, champion now. Oh, this guy is cool too. Oh, there's so many cool champions too, right? In Stitch. Because look at this. This champion is cool because, look, you, you start out with 75 health. That's a better than one-to-one -one ratio and three defense. And you're like, wow, how is that not OP? But then you're like, oh, it's lumbering <laughs> and it's 2v2. But it does have Sentinel. So if this uh, Infiltrator does attack the Dream Eater, then the uh, Monolith will actually uh, retaliate, so to say. Okay, so he's dead. 12 damage. But now we do have the uh, remains here. So can they both be reconstructed next turn? No, right? I mean, I'm guessing there's going to be Even though FS does not have too many AoEs, right? FS has, like, Monsoon, and nobody plays Monsoon. Oh, look at his Eradicate, though. He's at 22 damage Eradicate right now. If you can kill this Mindcaller, that'd be really nice. I wonder if that's why he saved it, just so he can do a, uh, you know, a spot Eradicate. Oh, there's another one. I didn't see that. 14 damage coming out because of the uh, plus 20% bonus damage. He'll do what, 16 then? Yeah, 16. And he'll do another. Tw oh, he'll actually get a kill, but he'll be double tapped. So you can 
He can get the kill on the infiltrator, but the infiltrator will get double tapped by the one on one. What was that? Bubble. Ooh, cancels the bubble protection. That's pretty strong. Bubble protection is definitely one of those things you do not want to have canceled. Because now, thing is, now the infiltrator can double tap, but he'll get hit for a lot. And the uh, Serena could go up there, or one of them could go up there and reconstruct whatever's happening. Yeah, okay, so he moves back instead of double tapping. That means he stays alive. Yeah, Dream Eater stays alive now. Uh, so he can actually attack one more time. Also, this is still a Stitch Remains. So there is a spell in uh, Stitched. Oh, okay, that works. There is a spell in Stitch that does cause Stitch Remains within two range to become champions again. So it has to watch out for this one up here, right? So if he is able to uh, reconstruct those, it's a bit dangerous. All right, so this one will be reconstructed no matter what. Can you reconstruct this one as well? Because that's where the Stitch, you know, have so much fun. They keep deploying champions, and the champions they do get killed or die, just don't die, you know? Uh, that's in range, yeah. You can move out of the range of the uh, land cannon. Also, does he have... Yeah, relocate up. Relocate relic is up. I'm pa pretty sure. Positive. So you could go into the font with the black guard. He doesn't get the Norglobe, yeah. So reconstruct this, reconstruct that, and then just move over one and deploy. Or is he going to eradicate the uh, mine caller and get a kill here? So he's eradicating. He's at tw oh, 28 damage right now. Does he have a kill? Hinder movement. Is it 11? He definitely wants to do... 8. Oh, ho, ho, that was so sexy. Dude, this Hawkless guy is good. That was a perfect kill with the Eradicate. Even though, should that have dealt damage? Is a... Uh... Oh, it's Sonic damage. Okay, it's Sonic damage. So he gets a perfect kill there with the Eradicate. Also gets the uh, summons now, or the remains. Man, all these remains are being like kind of annoying because it's just AP he has to waste to kill those. Definitely wants to put, make this into a champion and deploy, right? He wants to deploy. Or no, just make this into a champ. Champion? Wait, what? Why Why that one? This, well, I guess he can do that one. I guess that was also unsafe. Either that one or this one were the ones he would want to make. 50 HP though, nice. Into a, uh, yeah, there you go. He run, walks out, well, no, he's still in the range. Yeah, he's in the range of the cannon. He should have moved the other way. He should have moved down this way. Um, then he'd be out of range of it. But whatever. Yeah, and now the, even though, yeah, now this uh, area is kind of exposed. As well. Anyway, yeah, like I was saying, definitely a fun ass theme. Fun ass. Now two champions down here versus four. Then we have three up here, right? And the extra font and the FS bonus. So he's kind of slowly gaining an advantage. Gets an Orglobe as well, and he'll start taking this font over. And he, yeah, has to engage just to make sure that the uh, lumbering monolith can't do shit. Does have two five range though, which is nice. No more amp out though. Yeah, I don't see any more amp out, which is kind of sad. Oh, there is. Is there? Oh, he's vulnerable. That's why. Nice. Okay, that was a swap. That means he could have a kill here. Let's see, ten. No. What was this? Twisted essence. Now I can heal. And he's confused, but mostly just twisted essence. Eradicate, gonna be uh, charged again for uh, the turn after next. That was uh, four hits right there. So he's at five right now. I wonder if you ever get Violence Charge rank two, or if you can get that. Cause that sound, that Eradicate ability is pretty darn strong. He just did 28 damage with it. So maybe you wanna get Violence Charge rank two if you can, just to like amp it up quicker. I wonder how much it costs. Anyway, so he double tapped. Now, he can tap again, but it won't get the kill. And it doesn't matter too much because this Serenda can actually, uh... Yeah, he needs to kill it. No, but he needs to kill it and kill the Relic, or the Serenda can just uh, reconstruct. Even though it might not be in range, so there is that. Because this one is in range, definitely. So Serenda can reconstruct this. I'm not sure if he can reconstruct this one. No, that one's a little bit risky. Oh, is it on range? No, he is. Yeah, so you can kill him. You can kill the black card. Yeah, look at this Nora gain right now. It's crazy. All the soul... Wait. Yeah, with the mind caller, there's even more soul tapped out. You can double tap right now. Has to watch out again for that uh, psychic anguish, or agony, I mean. Wait, no, no. It's the first time, right? 
Yeah, the first time reduce is reduced by below 50. Also, this is frost damage, right? So that kind of plays around void shield. All right, so here's another reconstruct. Very good. More champions. Very fun. So many now. There's three black guards out. Probably one of the, probably a stronger one because first of all they're very they have the highest health of the stitched. Secondly, multi attack. Thirdly, they have a range attack, right? And chilled. So a lot of things you might like. Can he heal it? I think he can transfer life if he wants, but he might want to give that to the Serenda just to make sure Serenda doesn't die. Is he, who's he going to transfer? Probably Serenda, right? Serenda is very important here. This guy is not so much. I mean, he's still important, but not as important. He needs to keep deploying, though, I feel like. He needs to get, or he needs to get removed. Like, I don't know. It's, it's, if he, if that teleport at the start didn't fuck him over, he might have a chance. But that teleport that I saw coming, but mind you, yeah, I don't know if he meant to do this. I guess. Does he have a double tap? No. Mm -hmm. No. I guess it'd be hard. He's gonna have a hard time killing this black guard at the moment. But this Arinda is very important. He's like kind of the backbone because he's making sure that he can keep killing things. Because in general, Stitch have quite low damage, as you see. Yeah, Skeleton was some some of the better damage that Stitch have. Sixteen is nothing to laugh at. Um, yeah, maybe move the Serinda back. One of those, that spell, whatever it was, that does loads of psychic damage. That's kind of scary, you know? Oh, he's, l he's lumbering. That's weird. I didn't know that. That means he can't double tap. Huh. That's, well, he wouldn't have been able to double tap anyhow, but still. Do you know he lumbering or lethargic? Oh yeah, this is what I was talking about. Exactly this. I said maybe transfer life to the sur oh. Hmm. So he's going for the first. Interesting. Ooh, he does. Okay, okay. I can see a kill here. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. All right, killing the first is very strong as well. Getting rid of all this utility. Does mean he has a uh, you know seven seven stacks though on that Serinda. So yeah, eight stacks now. Ten damage. It's close. If he uses a spell to kill Serinda, that's probably a GG. Does he have a spell to kill Serinda? That'd be really strong. A uh, what's it called? Um. What was that? The heck? What was that? It's like, oh, impact. So that means that psychic damage does also give knockback. I believe that's what it does. Something like that. Psychic abilities with psychonic impact. So they now give knockback damage. Exactly, look at that damage right there. Did 23 because of the knockback. Wow, look at all these spells that Psychic has. That's really cool. Pretty darn cool. Yeah, finally getting killed with Rella. Damn, it's funny. He's like, go away. Anyway, I don't I definitely want to see what Karma Stuff does with this uh this theme of his. Um both two really cool themes being played here. Psychic. Uh, loads of spells being played with it, uh, loads of fun things, and then the uh, stitched with loads of fun things. Stitched are very hard to play. You need to keep, you know, having these be reconstructed. You have very low damage in general, um, but and you need to keep the you need to keep reconstructing to actually like, be able to stay, in, you know, at par with the enemy. I mean, they get they get the plus two damage from being half UD, but look at this. This is eight damage base. <laughs> yeah. I wonder what would happen if you go full faction uh, UD with Stitched. I wonder if that would work at all. Probably not. I think a lot of these spells are actually forsaken ways. So I don't think that works. Oh. All right. Can he kill? Eh, he might be able to. He does. Ooh, he does have a double tap here too. Does he have immunity? No. He has elusive leap though. Elusive leap will block one of these. All right. Yeah, this will give frost or chill, so I guess it's a better move. Uh, he wants one more hit, though, because then he would have been able to uh, get the kill with the Serinda instead of getting the kill with the chilled. 
I mean, he can still get the kill with the chilled, but then uh, he doesn't get the deconstruct, right? And right now, you have to think about it. It's zero fawns to three. Once this fawns to this. So, you'll get into this fawn again, but then it's still, you know, zero fawns to three. So... And the FS bonus. So, he's pooping out a champion. Right now, Karma Stop is pooping out a champion every, like, turn, basically. And, uh, Hawk Less doesn't have that. Yeah, if this font was not teleported to in the beginning, this would look like a much different battle, but... As is. Yeah, so... Yeah, he'll be dead to the Frost, the chill damage. But, uh... Yeah, he just gained damage, though. Oh, Fury, okay. Oh, there's a st Stitch Sling. Th 46 hell or 46 uh, Nora, sorry. Yeah, there's the kill. We do have a double tap with the Psychonic Impact. Um, that could... Or that will kill the Monolith, I believe. Yeah, Monolith didn't do too much this game, did it? Usually Monolith is kind of a scary thing to look at with that 75 base health. But it was here, you kind of really just got, you know, you got screwed. You kind of got wrecked. Ooh, 21 damage. 21 damage dealt. All these, ooh, this is scary though. There's a spell, like I said, it's a two two AP or two range. So if he uses all of his AP to kill the champions and not the relics afterwards, that should be very scary for him. Definitely needs to kill both. Ooh, he can attack once with the mutant and once here. So he can kill one of the relics very clearly. Yeah, these relics, it's only two two range though, so you can only remake two of them with that. With this with the spell that makes him back into champions. Also, he doesn't have any uh Hawkless does not have any reconstruct champs out at the moment. So uh yeah. Anyway, oh my god, if he uses the spell, this is what they do though. This is what Stitch do. You're like, oh I'm winning. And then you're like, I'm just really gonna reconstruct, thanks. <laughs> Wait, was that? This nor yeah, he has the font back though. Hawkless finally gets his font back. That's a hallelujah for him, right? So it's one font. Now, can he reconstruct these with the, the spell? It's 65 north for the spell. If he can, he could be in the game again, right? Because then it's three chance. <laughs> he gets three more champs. Uh, that's funny. Yeah, just engaging the uh, black guard. That's fine. Let's see. Can he do it? Eight, eight, seven. Does he have it? I want to see him. I think it's two, a two, two uh, AOE range. If it's three, then you can do it on all three of them, but I don't think it is. So these th these two will be reconstructed if he has the spell. And I, I don't know why he wouldn't. I would play always at least one of the spell. It's a very uh, low-cost spell, I believe. I mean, a low uh, cooldown. It's like eight turns or something. You don't need to use it that often either. Like, this kind of an opportunity does not happen often where you have relics that are alive right next to each other. Is he gonna use it, or is he? Doing it? There it is. Ah, oh, that's so fucking hilarious. Okay, that's fucking hilarious. <laughs> oh, I fucking love it. Oh my god, that must be so irritating. You, you spend all your AP and your turn killing two champions, and then you're like, no, 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 they're coming back. Thanks. <laughs> oh, I love it. I fucking love it, dude. I love this theme so much. I wish somebody would really main this, like, hard. Like, imagine somebody getting good with this, and you just never let your champions die. You just, you play so well that your champions always just get reconstructed. Ooh, 19 damage. That was pretty good. Yeah, but we need, we need to see another... Yeah, while he did play the spell to get two extra champions, like I said, he doesn't have any de reconstruct champs out. And with that, once these die, he can't uh, reconstruct these, right? And that's really bad for him. Anyway, the uh, cannon gonna shoot the um, Skeleform in all, in all probability. Yeah, double tap here, it's fine. The uh, Catalyst is not good though. Or, is that Catalyst? I think it's Catalyst. But why is it doing four damage? Is your amp out? I don't see any amp. Why did that do four damage? Six psychic damage. Weird. Why are you doing extra damage? I don't know. Oh, Hunter, that's why. Okay. Oh, that's cool. Anyway. So, yeah. This uh this is this is a fun fun 
The uh, executor is at four speed only though at the moment because of the uh, the slowed, I believe. So it won't even be able to attack. Now the infiltrator can kill the remains as well as get into the font. But then the monolith could attack him. So it's a bit dangerous if he uh, does move in here. Ooh, that's a weird ability. Shadow spawn and shadow shift. Yeah, he can get, yeah. Oh, he doesn't decide to, okay. Oh, he goes in with the uh, mutant. Also good, also good. Yeah, now, oh, I forgot. Now we have the uh, psychic agony. So once he gets to below 50, again, we'll have that the giant, you know, boost in damage on everything as well as the... Yeah, and there's another Frick Mask. That's, you should have done that beforehand. 28 damage. Really legit. And then here, instead of 11, he's doing 13. That's a kill. Yeah, like I said, it was a cool, it was cool, but he, he needed, he needed, he needs more. The uh, Nora gain from Karma Sub is too much, so there's nothing he can do. He just deployed, plus played a relic, or a equipment, and the, uh, yeah, <laughs> just yeah. Now, Twisted Emerald, kind of an interesting um, equip to play. I'm not sure how much it costs, but get, Twisted Essence is good healing in general. It's pretty strong, um, but is Confuse worth it? I don't know. I guess it depends. If this is like 25 Nora, maybe 20, then I'm, then I'm okay with it. But And we still have Marshawn going. Wow. So much Nora being gained. At the moment, though, this uh, font is uh, Hawk Lusses, though. Unless there's an invisible relic here. Like uh, Poison Trap. What is that? <laughs> reflexes. I didn't know any Grant Reflexes. Oh, yeah. Rank two though. Why did it say rank three here? Oh, it didn't. It took a couple minutes. Uh, all this load. How? What's the cooldown? Three turn cooldown on that hinder movement. Pretty nice. Is this mud sling? No, latch on. Okay. There's another slowed. Uh, that's funny. He's like, I'm gonna just slow everything. You can. Oh, steal life. That's interesting. Yeah, good idea to go for the champ. Then he should have slowed. I guess he didn't have the AP. Yeah, he should have then uh, slowed the mind caller, try to get the kill here. But he's playing spells now and not deploying, which is kind of scary in general. It's a 45 Nora spell, and he did not get a kill with it. That's uh, probably GG then. You can't play a spell like that and not get a kill, especially on the champion with the uh, equip. Yeah, I mean you can. Oh, is that <laughs> the uh, monolith is at three health because of the um, st uh, strength of body, meaning he only has damage compared to his health, and because he has no health, he also has no damage. That's kind of funny too. Anyway, yeah, he uh, didn't didn't get a kill here, and now he won't be able to play a spell. Oh, he does get a kill, I guess. Kind of played it odd though. I guess he had to play it this way. Yeah, he did. Yeah. Okay, he gets the kill, and he removes the equipment. Um. Oh, there's the cleanse, though. I guess that was pretty good, because he uh, stopped the cleanse from going off. But he doesn't get the Nora Globe, and that's kind of important. He, if he got that Nora Globe, he might have a chance, just because Nora is so important for him right now. But without the Nora Globe... Yeah, he has three champions up here. These two are quite tan at least the uh, mutant with the twisted. Oh, and yeah, okay. Yeah, there's nothing happening here. This uh, mutant is at, you know, three deep. Re re he's at resistances up the ass. And he's healing up because of the twisted essence. Even, yeah, it gets the Norgal. Yeah, it even gets the Norgal. There you go. This is GG. Uh, really well played by both of them. Hawkless uh, playing a really fun uh, theme. So is so is uh, Karmasop. I mean, I think I could watch this theme longer, Stitch longer than I could watch uh, um, Psychic though. Like Psychic will get boring after like five games, while Stitch I could watch for like, ages because there's so many fun things happening. Um, where you're just like, I feel like you're just trolling, but you're not. You're just having fun. <laughs> but yeah, no. That teleport, which we, which I saw coming, and which he should have saw coming too, should have had more than just his uh, black guard to defend. Um, after that teleport, it kind of was just going downhill. With that teleport, he could have 
if he could have, you know, gotten the mid font or gotten a really stable stand in it at least, like had four champions ready to get a kill every turn, then okay. But he was because Stitch has such low damage, um, he just wasn't able to really get a kill, even though he had more champions in middle, you know, versus top. So yeah, 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 yeah. We had some fun plays though. <laughs> Alright, what's happening now? It should be surrendering. I don't see anybody. It's just, the Nora gain is just too much. Look at this. Three fonts versus two, or versus zero, sorry. You have, yeah, he's still playing, I guess. But <laughs> Look at his defense. He's at, he's taken, uh, he's at five rank, yeah, it's not happening. He also has resistance. He's not going to do damage. Oh, <laughs> Uh, the, the the catalyst is doing more damage than the monolith is. Double taps. Uh, double tap was pretty good. Did 20 damage there, but it won't matter. It won't matter. That's also a cool spell, by the way. But that's not worth it. He keeps playing spells and not playing champions. Kind of a little bit of a misplay, I feel like. Or not a misplay, but like a bad choice. Of course, at a, as a Shatter Peaks player, I'm kind of like, you know... Uh, Swayed against playing spells. What's the word? I, you know, I'm against it a bit more playing spells and, and equipment and that kind of stuff. Uh, but even in general, I think you should be playing more champions. Um, sh the the Stitch theme does well when they can, you know, keep getting these things back up. And if he keeps making these uh, Stitch remains but not getting the uh, actual champions up then he loses anyway so he disconnects i'm guessing he uh rage quit either way gg well played